stored, compiles, and centralizes all data from a SAN device into a unified environment in which data can be traced to both individual SAN switches and their ports. The application retrieves all data from SAN switches via SNMP and in the case of brocade devices, can also read directly from BNA. For the case of our demo, let's first have a look at the totals section, which displays the data of all connected SAM switches in two modes, in and out. The data is presented in the overview in individual graphs for the time periods of the last day, week, four weeks, and last year. As you'll soon see, the charts are one of our most powerful components. You can use the zoom function in each of our graphs to see a more detailed view of a shorter time unit to identify possible incidents as accurately as possible. To achieve a more detailed view of the graph, simply enlarge it by clicking on its area. It's possible to quickly display data concerning only one of the connected switches by clicking on its row in the table below the graph in the overview. Likewise, the details of a given switch can be quickly displayed to one of its ports. Going back to the total report, we can use another very useful tool, the trend chart. For example, to predict the future of equipment usage and take a stance to get data for future planning decisions. In the frame section, we can find specific data and statistics which are available very quickly. You can track data for BBC credits, link fail, CRC errors, in, out, and more. The possibility to click through to the wrong port for two clicks, as we showed a little while ago, is definitely a great advantage of our tool. Data can also be viewed separately by Fabric. The tool also collects all ISL data, interswitch link connectors between devices. We can find categorizations such as BB credits, CRC errors, data in, out, and in the data. The heat map is a compact view of the utilization of all ports of connected devices based on average utilization over the previous hour. If needed, you can quickly get data from a given port by clicking on its square in the heat map with just one click. The health status provides an overview of the status of connected devices and their individual ports, whether they are online, offline, whether they are in sync, no card, or other, according to the legend attached. The configuration shows a list of connected switches and detailed information about them, such as the specific model and its technical specifications, including firmware version. You can get detailed information by clicking on the name of the switch. We may also find information regarding the fabric's configuration here. In addition to reviewing the centralized summary data in the total section, the app also allows you to preview in the individual device or its port on the left panel. Data can also be reported from a SAN device, but because the issue is more extensive, it is separately described in a video called Reporting. We can aggregate the data into our own custom groups, so you can define the view, and then follow the aggregated data according to your own preferences and needs. Usually, different technologies are grouped according to location and usage. In the Alerting tool, we can configure alerts for all metrics we collect from all connected devices. Now, let's show you how to create a new alert. We have a choice of storage devices, custom groups, or switches. For switches, it's worth mentioning that an alert can be defined not only on a single port, but for the entire switch as a whole. After selecting the area, we continue by selecting a specific device and then select a logical or physical part, which can be further distinguished into volume, pool, all pools, host, or total capacity. You can test and save the alert after setting the necessary parameters. You can define alert recipients in the Email Groups tab. The Options Performance tab defines other options for sending alerts or forwarding them to third-party applications. You can automatically send HW errors detected by our tool through the last tab in Option HW Events. All alerts are recorded in our log, where records of individual events are available for viewing even retrospectively. Do you want to try both tools? Try them out with our demo. Do you need more information from our experts? Arrange a consultation via WebEx.